Hi everyone and a very warm welcome to all our subscribers, especially those who've just joined Lucky Fish. To all our new viewers, a very warm welcome to you too. This week we have some action. Now I know that comes as a bit of a shock to many of you um, and I must apologise. We also have some content uh, for which I must also apologise and I promise it won't happen again. Please sit back and enjoy Sailing with El Nino by our side. Shortly after crossing the equator, the wind died altogether. We had been expecting this. Our course crossed the equator where the doldrums are at their narrowest, anywhere on the meridian. We expected them to be around 60 nautical miles wide. Some people tell us that Lucky Fish always has good weather. Part of this is because we let the weather decide our schedule. 2016 was a strong El Nino year, perfect for crossing the Atlantic, but not so good for yachts going west across the Pacific. Pacific crossings are best done in La Nina years, or when the two oscillations are transitioning. We dropped the spinnaker and had a skinny dip before starting the engines. What's the name of the ocean you're swimming in, girls? Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> and are you on the equator? Yeah, yeah. we're on the equator. No <laughs> wind, don't you? And you don't. And you've seen this any. This is a 5,000 meter water. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> and how's the water? Is it warm? <laughs> we motored for 13 hours, first on one engine, then the other to conserve fuel. We had a 200 nautical mile range under power if needed. After 66 nautical miles, we felt the first puffs of a new wind. It was from the southeast, not the northeast trade wind we were expecting. We hoisted the kite, and the girls made tuna hoshore again. We were still waiting to catch our first decent fish. What are you laughing at? Oh, ugly face. I don't know about these things. Looking lovely. Oh. This is a carbohydrate substitute for bread when you don't have any bread left. Mm -hmm. Better than eating raw flour, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I certainly hope so. Gosh, it's a little bit on the warm side though. I don't know if we need the gas, I think the oil would be hot enough just as it is. Look at that. Golden brown taste sensation. Crunchy. You're going to give that a name? That's really ugly looking thing, honey. Huh? <laughs> pustule, pustule bread. Atlantic pustule bread. <laughs> nice. What's the filling? Tuna and potato. Joy, nice. Nice. Thank uh, you, Stuart. Oh, thank you <laughs> very much for all the preparation. Yep. 
tuna horseshoe with a touch of peach chutney. Mmm, pastry is delightful. Cooked to perfection. A little bit on the tough side, or maybe our knives are just rusty and blunt. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm, yeah, that is nice. You're having a nice day or what? We've had a nice two months so far. Let's hope it continues. Hope so. Where is it? You hear the bell? Okay, keep tiring. I can't see it, where is it? Huh? Okay. I made a few casts at sunset and the next minute there was a wahoo lure in his mouth 10 feet out of the water a boat length away and then he ran and ran and ran. Mm. He ran hard. He ran a long way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. It looked like a mackerel to me. Yeah, a long black thing. Yeah. Well, he came clear out of the water, didn't he? What a jump. I thought he was going to jump into the boat. He hooked on just uh, about a boat and behind us. Finally, a suicidal fish, or if not, a severely depressed fish, threw itself onto our lure. He's ginger now. Toya wanted the fish so bad. She wanted to help but didn't know how. So she just held the fisherman. I think it's a nice fish. I think so. Oh, there you go. Fish You see him, honey? Yeah. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. This is where they freak out, okay? Okay, put it here. Get the gas. Hot, hot, hot. Tell Toya to get the gas. Get what? Tell Toya. No, no, no. Get the gas. 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 ウトリヒメナウグネ。ヒレレ。ヒレウトニヒネネスノウグネ。ハキロ。ボルタイトロ。ナタベルギネ。ハウドロッチハイ。センチャンゴ。オケダネ。サイチ。ハウドロッチ
Yeah, so you're doing them in portions for the three of us. Yeah. Uh, big portions. <laughs> We're going to be eating wahoo for the next week. Yeah. Let's help us, uh, let's help us. Uh, Food supply. supply. Yeah, it does, yeah. The following morning, our 11th day since leaving Ascension, we were all pretty sleepy at the watch change. It had been a late night filleting fish and waiting for the adrenaline to subside. We were happy to see the sun. With every mile we ran down the westing, but left the clock on GMT. We had our own daylight saving as the sun rose and set later each day. Lucky Fish has never been plugged into the grid or a generator. We rely totally on solar power. The hazy sky near the equator, where all the world's weather is born, led to a discussion about our solar budget. We made 30 litres of fresh water each day and the girls participated in budgeting by taking salt water showers with a fresh water rinse. The remaining power is used for navigation equipment and the radar. Lunchtime that day promised to be a real treat. Can you wait? Put it at top. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> That's it! With the workout the seawater bucket was getting, it wasn't long before I managed to split it. It was our only decent bucket, and going without it wasn't an option. The girl's natural instinct was to fix it. I mean, really? Fix a plastic bucket? The sound you hear is the water maker. That beeping is the first of three sounds telling us the batteries are reaching their minimum and it's time to turn the water maker off. <laughs> wow, it's a swallow, wow, that's a, that's a swallow, that's migrating. He's on a long migration. On the 13th day, the southeasterly was gradually dying. We continued to sail as long as the spinnaker would fill. There was little to do but relax. That night, the wind increased and backed 50 degrees with heavy rain squalls. We doused the kite at 1am and set the jib in full foresail. The wind then came and went, but mostly went. At dawn we motored for four hours and were greeted by these beautiful little dolphins. No sooner did they arrive than they were gone. By noon that day we finally arrived in the northeast trades. With the wind on our beam and a confused sea, 
We set the jib and foresaw. The girls coiled the spinnaker sheets as we wouldn't be needing them for a while. Now, Patreon, is there anything that evokes more emotion than Patreon? To some of you, you may be wondering, how could a bunch of people out there having a transparently good time have the hide to ask for a donation for the hours, days, weeks even, of work that goes into producing 15 minutes of video for your entertainment? Well, to you guys I say, fair enough. Not a problem. All of our videos will always be free, so long as we can keep producing them. But for some of you, maybe only a handful, you might be thinking, hey, I like the message from this channel. It's about getting out on a budget cat. It's something I can do. Maybe I want to be a part of it. And for you guys, well, I can tell you, we love you. And if that's you, then uh, we have a journey planned for you like no other. We have just set up a Patreon page, and before you change your mind, click on something. In the meantime, have a good weekend to all of you, and thank you for watching.